Bine ați venit la Palatul Parlamentului din Bucharesti. You're joining us here at the Palace of the Parliament in Bucharest, where the EPP is celebrating its 21st Congress. More Europe was the main message and the leaders showed their strong sense of unity. Join us inside where we'll show you more. Thousands of participants from the EPP's 74 member parties gathered in one of the largest buildings in the world, also appropriately known as the People's House. As the EU faces its most challenging time, the EPP's 15 heads of state and government delivered the same message, one of unity. Dieses, dass wir gemeinsam unsere Werte in der Welt vertreten können, das ist die eigentliche Kraft Europas und die sollte uns stolz machen und die Schwierigkeiten, die wir im Augenblick haben, auch überwinden lassen. Und ich glaube, die Europäische Volkspartei wird hierbei die führende Rolle spielen und in Europa in eine gute Zukunft führen. Amigas y amigos. Millones de europeos esperan de nosotros una sola voz y no 17 o 27, una sola voz, la voz de Europa. The message that was given to us by the international community from the Nobel Peace Prize is that the world, the world needs and the world wants a strong Europe. All of the EPP's associations were on hand to welcome guests, including the party's political foundation, the Centre for European Studies, which is celebrating its fifth anniversary. During the Congress, the party adopted 14 resolutions concerning the welfare of Europe's citizens. It also updated its political platform and manifesto, in which it pledges to bring the EU closer to the people and to solve the crisis through a balanced approach to fiscal discipline and sustainable economic growth. Our ideals have proved strong enough to carry us so far from the common market to the single market to political integration to the monetary union to the European Union of today and our ideals will be strong enough to lead us out of the present crisis through more union more responsibility more solidarity and now more competitiveness Many other sideline events took place during the two-day Congress, including the EPP Group Study Days and three Congress sections on the European economy, preserving Europe for future generations and the responsibility of Europe and its neighbours. Delegates also voted for the new EPP presidency. Ingo Friedrich was re-elected as treasurer, along with ten vice presidents from the European Commission, Parliament and national governments. President Wilfred Martins was re-elected with overwhelming support, as was his Secretary-General Antonio López Isturiz. I thank you for your support and the faith and trust that you have once again placed in me. I promise you that as President of the strongest European political party, I will continue my task with the same dedication and commitment as before. Europe was our project in 1976. More Europe is our aim now in 2012. We will not fail. The EPP will be formulating a process to select its presidential candidate, which will spearhead its European election campaign. In the EPP summit, of January next year, we will discuss the strategy and timetable for nominating our candidate for as President of the European Commission. And so, with their political manifesto, renewed party platform and presidency for the next three years, the EPP laid the foundations for the 2014 European elections. You can keep up to date with their next steps on the website at epp.eu. Until next time, thank you for watching. <laughs>